Yeah, no, there's no levels. I don't know. Oh, there we go. There it was. That's because I put you in slot one and that, that was when I had mine in. Slot. <laughs> slot. Had, That's my favorite I, slot. I had to turn way. on the phantom power. I forgot the power. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Phantom, Phantom power. power. It's the best. Phantom oh, power. Phantom power. Yeah. All right. Why? Right. In a little bitty space. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hey, it's, so how, it's is, how is your week so far? Has it been a week? Uh, well, a week yeah. since we've seen each I other. Guess so. Something like that, yeah. That's yeah, been good. You guys doing anything fun? Over the past week, uh, I I went down to um, to an open mic on Monday, and I ran into Co- and Craig Gas. Oh, okay. And he's a national touring act. He's also a voice actor on Family Guy. Nice. He yeah. Does, he does. He does impressions. <laughs> and I was telling I was telling Mike the the bit he told me he did for the first time when he went into the studio and was recording for the first time with Seth MacFarlane. He goes, they had me do a, an impression of, of um, Pacino. He was like a slumlord or something, and where he goes into the, into the, uh, into the <laughs> laundry room and says, you're out of order, you're out of order. Nice. It was so bad, it was hilarious. Uh, yeah. Nice. yeah, I do, I like that. That's a yeah. good bit. <laughs> we chatted afterwards, and you know, I you know, told him I followed him online, and you know, I like all the, I like the stuff he does, and a bit of a voiceover nerd. And was he there to perform, or was yeah, he, he just... was testing out some new new stuff. Oh, yeah. Nice. Is he in the area? I know he goes on KSW all the time. So. Uh, he he has a house here in Seattle in the Seattle area. He comes up here to go to like Mariners games. I have a house here in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. and a I mean, house elsewhere. <laughs> he also he also works on the it Howard. It implies that even if it's not <laughs> right, that way, yeah. it's like you think automatically. Yeah. He, I mean, I mean, he has a place. I don't know if it's a house, but he has a place here in in, in Western Washington. It could be a refrigerator box out behind. It could be a hobbit he, hole. He, he could he could have a he could have a Winnebago out by the stadium. So. Yeah, yeah, but uh, plenty of those. But uh, no, he. Uh, I, I think he comes to Seattle because he's a huge Mariners and Seahawks fan. Oh, so he, right. he he he. I think he also started his comedies uh, out here in Washington. Yeah, right in the Seattle area. Hey, I, I should ask a comic what they feel about the uh, climate for comedy in Seattle. It seems healthy, yeah. but I, don't, I, don't, um, I, I really I mean, don't know. It, it depends yeah. on who you talk to, because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of toxic people in the in the community, but there's also a lot of good people too. Hmm. So, and you know, it really depends on what shows you go to and what uh, you know, what mics you go to and. You know what venues? Because so. some venues are nicer than others, and they, you know, they pay their their acts better or worse or whatever. Something yeah. to that. Something to that effect. Yeah, there's gotta... there's always some sort of high school d- style drama. Well, geez, it's stage yeah, stagecraft. Silly. <laughs> I mean, it really. Is. Uh, uh, speaking of speaking of, of stagecraft, did you ever, did you finally watch that movie? The uh, was it theater camp or whatever? We did not go. No, because it's playing in like two places and like weird places. Yeah, and it's like, probably going to be coming out on digital pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, I saw that movie, and I, I I think I didn't get a lot of the jokes because I'm not a theater person. <laughs> well, theater you're, nerd, you're in one now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what yeah, about you, you Mike? Yeah, Anything yeah, fun? I was about to ask you the same oh. thing. Uh, I saw uh, again a completely inspirational young person band. Okay. That just rocked my socks off. Nice. Yeah. No, they were insane. It was huh. insane. I couldn't believe what was happening. Was this... Uh, uh, it was an all-age show at uh, Lucky Liquor. Okay. I still and have yet to go to a show there. And no, no, it's great. And uh, the, the other two bands would have been, I'm telling you, right up your alley, dude. Uh, and I didn't know any of the bands, so I just happened to luck out. Okay. But it's like Baptation N. Baptation N? N. Yeah, the letter N. Baptation They're on... Uh, and it was just like the sludgiest, uh, grimiest metal I've heard in I don't nice. even know how long. I'm telling you, it'll turn, it'll give you gray hair. Wow. Was, yeah. it, was it like doom metal? Was it like You're super just depressing gonna have to, shit? It was great. And they were great live. They were the coolest kids you've nice. never met. Just like... It was really neat. And they were, I mean, kids. Just, I mean, young people. When you say so, kids, I was going to say, are they 20 20s? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <coughs> maybe. yeah. So. How does one get an all-ages show at Lucky 
liquor. Well, it's because it's legal now. As long as there's a, <laughs> as long as there's a separate drink to, area. Yes. Yeah. 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 This, I mean, that's the way it's uh, delineated. And, uh, that's the way yeah. El Corazon is. They have a designated area yeah. for alcohol, yeah, and you have great. to have a wristband to get in there. Yeah, and I think they close at a earlier hour and that kind of thing, but uh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's wonderful. Nice. So, yeah. I, so, I, I do have t- a ticket to go see a comedy show this weekend. I'm going to go see Andrew Rivers at the, I think it's called the Capitol Hill Comedy Bar. Oh, all right. I've never been there. I don't know where it's at. I've, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's in Belltown. No, it's in Capitol Hill. <laughs> yes, yes. It's on Broadway. <laughs> Broadway <laughs> East. Oh, no, I don't Mott know. Lake. Mott, it's in it's totally Mott Lake. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, he's yeah. recording a special, I think. That's neat. Yeah. How'd you get that invite? I, it wasn't even an invite. He just oh. uh, he says, I'm doing a, I'm recording a special at this place. Please buy a ticket. Oh, there you go. And I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't oh, seen. So I haven't it's a seen transactional him. relationship. I haven't. I haven't seen him live do stand up since he was a open micer like ten years ago. So Jeez, that's neat. And he's like, he's Bob Rivers' youngest. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Haven't yeah. mm-hmm. huh. done you, uh, Sir Charles? Any What's fun that? stuff? Uh, let's see. Uh, Thursday night we went to a concert out at Chateau Saint Michel, oh, yeah. and yeah. that was uh, trombone shorty. That was a trombone shorty, and uh, Ziggy Marley was one of the oh, opening yeah. acts. Um, okay, I know who Ziggy Marley is. So, yeah, and he's oh, and what are they, were they co-headlining or is trombone shorty large? He's large. In the, I mean, it's it's weird to have Ziggy open for him. Yeah, that guy's. He's got his own he's, he's one, career. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's one of like Bob Marley's fifteen kids well, that are yeah, all musicians. Like that, I mean. Unless they're doing sort of a trade-off, like we open the so, show yeah. and then Jeez, you guys do the next great. one. But both yeah. of them were terrific. Nice, um, and it's a great venue, uh, outdoor on the grass, lots and lots of wine, uh, great food, man. We got these. Uh, talk about the food we got these uh pork belly tacos from this restaurant in edmonds that was there doing some of the catering and it was just phenomenal it's like eh, can i eat more yeah, no. yeah 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 keep them coming and they put cilantro on it Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so why it costs so much so they could hit you up for another five bucks <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why they do that uh trombone shorty was awesome uh i've never seen him live but his it, it really his, if you listen to any of his albums uh the stage show sounds just like i mean it just is fun it's this great atmosphere he's got like a 10-piece band including Uh himself so he's got a horn section a couple guitarists a couple backup singers he's trumpet and and, uh, trombone he's got a percussionist he's got a keyboardist he's got a drummer yeah it's just and it's insane they did uh, a prince song Hmm. They did uh, all, and then he did like uh, in New Orleans. They have a, something called a second line. If you know what that is, it's uh, jazz musicians that sort of just wander through the street in a line and they play. And so he got out in the audience and was roaming through the yeah, audience, that's just doing yeah. his thing. It's like the, a conga line, but different. Yeah, kind of, yeah, but, yeah. but with with horns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, amazing show. Hmm. Uh, was super stoked. What uh, were you drinking? Um, I had, uh, besides my Coke Zero, oh. I had a couple glasses of, I yeah. think it was a Chateau Saint Michel Rosé, mm-hmm. which was, you know, it's a good little summer wine. Sort of chilled. Very chilled. Nice, nice, um, nice. I think that's all I had. I just had a couple glasses of wine. Nice. Uh, people I was with got nice and sloshed, but, oh. you know, it was fun to watch them. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Other than that, it's been pretty chill. Yeah, mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Hey. You give me some French fried potatoes. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> With mustard. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that kid took Hollywood by storm for a minute there. He did. And then he, like, he's, he started doing, like, music a few years back, too. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, Billy Bob Thornton had, like, a like a jazz band or some other. It's like a blues rock. Rockabilly or some shit. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, what's our, uh, yeah. what would you like to talk about, gentlemen? I don't know. Should we uh, get this bad boy? Uh, uh, whoa. whoa, whoa. There it is. <laughs> then they said, let there be music. And there, there was, was music. And it was glorious. It was indeed glorious. Yeah. 
Wait, I thought you were going to play a little longer. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody, one and all, and welcome to Our Town Podcast. Extraordinary. Episode number 33, boys. So it's oh, like wow. double lucky, yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know. We're, um, we're, we're like, a, a like private, an LP. We're yeah. like a private club at the Disneyland Resort. That's true. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. Club 33, yeah. Uh, 33. Oh. oh. Coming to you from the historic <laughs> Renton uh, Civic Theater in yeah. beautiful, beautiful downtown Renton, yeah, Washington. Yeah, yeah. And boys, tonight's safe word in honor of somebody we'll talk about soon. Yeah. Uh, the safe word is, that's my name, so don't wear it out. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody feels unsafe or yeah. needs a break or whatever, just shout out, that's my name, don't wear it out. Um, and we'll stop this here program and take care of that business. Yeah. Yeah. We can still, we're still free to say, I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> so if I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> oh my God. Take a picture, it'll so last good. longer. <laughs> so good. I'm listening to reason. <laughs> so good. Plus, yeah, oh yeah, I mean, we'll discuss. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. And, you know, I don't know when you guys heard, but it was like all over my feet, you know, oh, yeah. the day it happened. It was like, oh my God. And then you find out he like was, had been battling cancer for a number of years. Uh, a yeah. pretty good number of years, yeah. Yeah, because he hadn't really... He did the last uh, Pee Wee Herman thing he did was that Netflix movie, right? Yeah, which was Joe, enjoyable with Joe really Maganella. Like Maganola? Yeah. Is that how you say his name? Maganella. I know, I know yeah. they made fun of it in the movie, too. I actually just wa- re-watched it uh, uh, a couple days ago just because I wanted to... Have get a, a little fresh in your mind. Get a little pee wee. The first two uh, were also had some Phil Hardman input, I think. Right? Uh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So that's I the mean, missing ingredient for that yeah. third one. Phil yeah. Hardman was a part of his show as well. Oh, and was, and they were friends and, yeah. and uh, comrades and. Phil Harmon was just, I think, a genius. Yeah, they were both uh, uh, groundlings, right? Yeah, yeah, and I think they're in the same troop, yeah, the same class or whatever. Yeah, and I think either late 70s, early 80s, uh, Paul Rubens, who we're talking about, who mm-hmm. passed away at yes. 70 after battling cancer, um, he and Phil Hartman both tried out for Saturday Night Live, and uh, Paul Rubens did not make it, so he, uh, instead of going home, borrowed like five grand and put together this stage show. Show called the Pee Wee Herman Show and created this character that he'd already been doing in stand up, which was right. uh, kind of this uh, take every kid show, howdy doody, Mr. Rogers, the whole gambit, and threw it into this crazy zany character that yeah. he totally created in, in, in a lot of instances, very genius, right? Um, in Pee Wee Herman, who we're right. talking about. Yeah. Uh, so, it had the stage special. Um, did he do the movie or the kids show first? I think he did the kids show first. Was the kids show first, and he toned down sort of the the adult wink wink humor. I think it? it was there, just wasn't it wasn't like in your yeah. face. Yeah. And and it's just obtuse and weird. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's non typical television. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, produce. I actually heard cool yesterday. I love that guy. They were. Yeah, she really did. She had, it went as Pee Wee many times on Halloween. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, yeah, she really is a huge fan. And I think his people responded to some of her Instagram stuff, and she was elated, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it was somebody mentioned yesterday, or they played a video clip of him talking about creating the character of Pee Wee. And he says he's supposed to be like this guy who thinks he is the most amazing comedian ever and he tells the worst possible jokes period nice like he he came out on on the they played a clip of him coming out on letterman and he spent almost 10 minutes talking about this thing and he didn't actually get to a punchline <laughs> Jeez, well that's brave isn't it yeah it's kind of that andy kaufman yeah uh, same sort of thing same yeah sort of thing, right that irreverent thing uh and so much so that it's hard for the audience to differentiate between the two right yeah. yeah, and in fact, he got a uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame star, um, but it's as Pee Wee Herman, no way. not as Paul Rubens. No way. Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, which I- kind of is shitty, but if he's okay with it or was okay with yeah. it, then... Jeez, I, mean, I don't know. But he sort of became that character, although he was in a yeah. lot of great movies. Oh, yeah, no, no, he's, he's the spleen. He's the I always spleen. think of him as the yeah. spleen yeah. from yeah. Mystery Men. It's fantastic. Yeah. He's, he's about the only one, besides the bowler, I guess, who has a superpower at all anyway. Right. right? Yeah. Like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fart on command. That yeah. was great. And throw it across the room. 
Oh, and he was okay. in the uh, original <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer with yes. uh, Kirsty Swanson and yeah. the Luke Perry one. It, it, Jeez. And he was great he in was that. He stabbed in the heart with a ruler and he died. He did. He took the rest of the movie to die. Yeah. He literally looked, awesome. it kept showing up like, eh, eh. And he looked at her and then paused for a second and then he eh. <laughs> so, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah Blues yeah. Brothers. Blues right? Brothers is the waiter, yeah. right? Yeah. That was, I yeah. think, one of his insane. first uh, you know, credits. One yeah. of his first he also, movie credits. He was also in, uh, I think, two of the uh, Cheech and Chong movies. He played the same. He played he, Pee Wee sure. Herman on stage at an open mic in one of them, and he was like the, the concierge at a hotel in another one. Nice. He's basically the same character. Nice. Yeah, and he did a lot of Batman stuff uh, later the joke, in his career. Uh, yeah, the, the uh, Penguin's father. Penguin's was, father. Oh, he, he did it hmm. twice, actually. Yeah, he did it once. Uh, and then he was in also... In Batman Returns, he, I don't think he had any lines. No, he oh, didn't have any lines. Right. You're right. I forgot about that. He, yeah. he, uh, he was, uh, yeah, in the opening sequence where... She gives birth, and he's like, oh, my. And he plays that same character in the show Gotham. Oh, he's Cobblepot Sr.? Yes. That's he goes by a different name in Gotham, though, right? Oh. Yeah, I don't think it's Cobblepot. Uh, yeah, well, he's he's clearly his Cobblepot's dad. But it is his dad, father. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. think he went by yeah, Cobblepot that was, Sr. Oh, well, because yeah. yeah, that's their last name, I thought. And he's the only villain in the pantheon of uh, Batman, the costume villains, who hasn't qualified for Arkham because he's not really crazy he's just a greedy piece of oh, shit oh the penguin yeah. yeah the penguin's not actually crazy crazy he's just an asshole he's a he's a miser he's a what know, iteration gangster. though because uh, in Batman Returns wasn't he like living in the sewer with actual penguins and stuff. Oh my God! I don't know. He, yeah, he was. I mean, he was. Is that the Michelle Fiverr one too? Yes. Yeah, I saw it when it came out. I haven't Danny seen Danny DeVito any of those was since the, the Penguin in that. Yeah. He actually, Danny DeVito's version of the Penguin influenced the look of the Penguin for a number of years. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he was also Batmite on. Uh, I think it was uh, Batman: Brave and the Bold. Yeah. Uh, Paul Rubens was. Yeah, it was oh, fantastic. All right, all right. It was essentially the Pee Wee Herman, Pee Wee Herman voice, hmm. but it was, he was playing Batmite, which was like a. Uh, extra dimension, extra dimensional character who could like change things. You know, it was constantly yeah, causing like mi- Mixoplex, but uh, kind of like Mixoplex, yeah. but not as is is evil. I mean, he was more of a mischievous little kid than he was like mm. a. Mm. Uh, a real bad guy. Yeah, and then he had some. He had a couple of times. He had some trouble in his life. Uh, the first one happened in the late eighties, uh, where he was caught uh, in a theater such as this. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, at the time, at the time yeah. that happened, this theater actually played those types of things. Maybe because this was like late eighty. I don't remember. It was like when early nineties. Well, yeah, 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 pretty well, close. This place was yeah mid eighties. So. Mid eighties, yeah. yeah. But yeah, he got busted for masturbating in a pornography Allegedly. theater. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. um, and I think he had a career-saving moment because they invited him as Pee Wee Herman to come on like the MTV Music Awards shortly. Any good jokes lately? Yeah, <laughs> and he used that line, yeah. and like the crowd ate it up. Right? Yeah. It was like yeah, uh, he yeah. got a fell redemption immediately. Yeah. And this is before redemption. social media. Too. Well, it was yeah. before porn. Hub. Yeah. <laughs> it actually someone I, I posted he would, about. He would have just been at home. It would have right. been a non issue. Yeah. Yeah. I, I posted about Pee Wee Herman or Paul, Paul Rubens the day it happened, and someone commented, "Didn't he like? Didn't he? Wasn't he caught like masturbating in a movie theater?" I was like, well, let's be clear. It wasn't a movie theater. No, it, it was, was a, a porn theater. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like he was watching Cinderella or it was it was you know, it, it wasn't like it was chitty, chitty it wasn't bang. in a public place. It was <laughs> he was in a place yeah. where that kind of thing happens yeah. on the daily. Yeah. And the only reason why he got in trouble is because he was a celebrity who had a children's show. Yeah. That's it. That's the only reason he made. And he even offered the police, I guess, when he got arrested, he offered the police to be like, I'll come do some charitable things. As Pee Wee Herman, I'll yeah. come out and perform. And they're and like, yeah, no, for the thing. no, that's for the press. Again. Well, right. and then as soon yeah. as the press got a hold of his yeah. name, then they found out it was everywhere. So yeah. at that point, it didn't. He, matter had, he hadn't been doing Pee Wee at that point, too. I think. I think the show had ended, maybe. Mm. Um, and I was uh, towards the end. actually. You know what? I think the show Big got Top canceled because been, of, was I think, it. I think it was actually. I think the show might have been canceled because of that. Uh, oh, I Well, that'd I be a know. shame because uh, kids yeah, they, well. they shouldn't be reading the news about that anyway. So what do they care? But um, yeah, and he wasn't. It, yeah, it, it was. It was a. It, in the way this guy was talking, I was like it made it sound like he was 
watching, like you said, Cinderella or some other Disney film. No, he wasn't. He wasn't in the back row, yeah. just making it. Yeah, no, there are no minors there, right? <laughs> No, I just I mean, think about was, the janitor. They were, they were, they were like, motherfucker, stay uh, home, dude. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah some yeah. poor schmuck's got to bring the mop, dude. Just, <laughs> yeah. Clean that clear. upholstery. There wasn't yeah. any young people there. There probably was people who work in coal mines, though. Hopefully it was like nice, stadium nice, plastic nice. seats, and they could just sort of hose everything yeah, geez, down. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, probably not. They, they probably had like... You know, 18 year old or 22 year old guys who were jizz mopping oh, the man. shit out of place. That's yeah. tragic. Uh, and then he got busted again oh. in the early 2000s. Did he? Um, really? For possessing uh, pornography um, that was. Oh. You know, at first, it was deemed as like child porn. But when you dug into it, which I didn't, but uh, it was basically uh, like historical porn stuff. Like he collected. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like uh, old muscle magazines yeah. and you know stuff like yeah. that and it wasn't How really did he get busted though i think he bought something from somebody and All they right. turned him in and then they did a search of his house and they you know the yeah. over over uh, eager prosecutor was sure. like All oh right, we right. got we got this and then but it ended up being like you know derigo types right i mean it was like yeah, so he, old it wasn't you know as I, I saw a video about this today on on tiktok saying how he was buying uh like like on in auctions like lots of like a lot of this type of you know sure, sure, sure. so he's not a trafficker or porn no no he was he was buying like yeah. you know uh Storage like his, his, his estate sales estate and shit sales, yeah. and he would yeah, you know when know. they would find like reels of of film he, and if it was if they knew what it was it, that was and he'd buy that and he i don't think he was actually watching it i mean he just collected that stuff yeah yeah no, I had never heard that until just now. I didn't yeah. know that was, that was associated Yeah, it, with that it was in the news. It was sort of years after the whole thing. I don't think he'd been peewee for a while. I think he'd been doing a lot of voice acting like, and stuff like that. Yeah, he was doing a lot of voiceover stuff, I think, at that time. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah well, speaking of uh, indictments and... <laughs> Yeah, arrests no, and everything that. else our former beloved uh president cheeto in uh, charge cheeto in charge got indicted again uh third time second federal in, yeah, in dc in dc yeah. for the january 6th insurrection yeah. and yeah. i don't yeah. have the list of the charges this just happened yesterday but it was four felonies yeah it was yeah. basically like uh conspiracy to defraud uh yeah. the united states, the united states. Yeah. I, I heard someone this the, the, the uh, uh, conspiracy to take rights yeah. from people, right? The, the and that's right a big one because they used to use that on the Ku, Ku, Ku Klux Klan yeah. uh, I mean, when they would try those... to stop African Americans from voting. I mean, how could how could any kind of law that works, you know, to push down the uh, KKK work against Donald Trump? I mean, what what uh... would the the correlation be? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't know. This is big, though. Yeah, this is big. And this oh. is interesting because... Uh, and it's gross. And thank goodness these mechanisms are functioning. Yes. Right? It's like... Because yeah, we came yeah. really close to a dictatorship, people. Right. We really did. Really? Yeah. And, and whether or not people think... Because they're kidding themselves. If they think that's going to be better because they like the guy or whatever, it is never no. better. Right. Yeah. I, never better. Dictators have never been better than a democracy. Ever. I, never, I, ever, ever, ever. I saw a video today of someone responding to a comment about this thing today. It was like, and the comment was something along the lines of, how is it Colombia is able to, like, indict him? <laughs> nah. And the person, I, the video I was watching, they were like, they had this look of, oh, my God, my brain hurts. Please make it stop. <laughs> Please make it all stop. Where's, the, where's that meteor? Where's the giant meteor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, my It's like, really, dude? The District of Columbia is D.C. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's great because uh, I think Jack Smith, who's the ultimate prosecutor in, in both of these He's cases. He's the ultimate warrior. He, uh, he threw... Uh, the he put the charges in on the uh, on the documents down in Florida where it happened. Right, said you know what well, this is where it happened. If he had tried to move that to D.C. or some other jurisdiction, yeah, everybody would, would yeah, have been yeah, up yeah, in arms. Yeah. Said oh you're just trying to move it to somewhere he, more he could, favorable yep, to the prosecution. The whole thing, yeah. He put it down there and 
Trump got the best judge possible in Florida that I he could Cannon, ever hope yeah. for. Yeah. A Trump appointee. A Trump appointee who already made waves for him yeah. when he was trying to suppress the prosecution from getting their hands on uh, the documents that he is basically accused of uh, of taking without permission. Um but up here, uh, up in D.C., uh, where the insurrection happened, he's not going to get his choice of judge. Um, and he's probably not going to get a very favorable jury, I hate to say. It's just, you know, that's politics in this country. Um, down well, in yeah, Florida, it was probably saying. mostly <laughs> Trump voters. In Washington, D.C., it's probably not. So... It's going to be interesting to see how they both play out. I'm hoping that whatever judge uh, ultimately is assigned to this case, they have a judge assigned right now, but I don't know if she is going to be the one throughout the case or if she's just sort of that, the that's for the beginning uh, judge. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, just with the indictment process or something. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I really yeah. and it could be. I don't know. Um, but I hope whoever they are, they fast track this court case and i think he what he did what jack he's Smith not gonna did, win the presidency no so I'm, I'm really not worried about that and yeah i don't think desantis has a chance in hell this time no desantis will win in 28 dude when we try to run some schmuck against him and we fuck i'm not a democrat so i shouldn't say we but uh uh you know what i mean the opposition but, party, but he's yeah. not gonna yeah i don't know i don't think he'd win it either i really this time don't. around no nope, I, really don't. I don't think i think he's already been bashed by the mega crowd yeah. enough that they won't pick up on it and i mean the only one right now that's sort of that's running for president that's got an r after their name is that has bashed trump or at least has come out against trump is his former vice president pence and it's not even like a harsh bash it's like well we gotta we gotta make sure you know law takes its course and stuff sure. but we cannot put one no, man but Chris Christie's ambition. yelling at him too. That's like true. That. But, but, but he's, he's not, not going anywhere. Yeah, either, he's right? not going anywhere. It's, it's, uh, Nikki Haley will be the vice presidential candidate. And yeah, then yeah. some fucking psycho or another is going to be the... Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? It's exhausting. At this point. We have 330 million people in this nation. <laughs> You're telling me we can't get a few, for for uh, everybody's sake, just some decent candidates. Some sane people. Just some sane people who are like, nope, these are the things that need to get taken care of in this yeah. order. Yeah. Let's fucking make it happen. Right. Right, yeah. it's like, oh, it hurts my brain. Man, oh, man. Come on, giant rock. Yeah, well, speaking of Trump, <laughs> uh, the DOJ also added charges, as we mentioned, the case down in Florida. They also added charges down there and added a co-defendant, a guy oh. named Carlos de Oliveira. Um, and he and the first co-defendant, Nauta, Walton, Walt, Nauta, um, were actually seen on videotape trying to sneak around <laughs> the area, trying to figure out how they could erase the footage yeah. after the DOJ requested and uh, got a court order to get their hands on the uh, videotape surveillance at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. Basically, like bumbling... What Monster. was the end goal? That's the that's the nine hundred pound gorilla in the room. No to hide it. gorillas. Yeah, but what does he want this stuff for? Oh, Is he going to oh, sell it? Is yeah. he going to? Does he owe fucking yeah. Russia? I don't know. Right? It's like he owes a lot of people money. He I owes don't the know. Saudis money. Right? Are they going to get uh, intel on Israel? No idea. Right? It's like, man, is it worth yeah. all that? I think he I thought he's, he could it's get worth away with it. for this guy. Yeah. Right? I, it's I, like I, I don't bet know. You he it's won't try cool. that in a small town. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, I don't know. Where's Mar-a-Lago, anyway? I really don't it's, know. Uh, South Beach or something. Uh, oh, is it in South Beach? I was in South Beach down. back in 99. Palm, uh, what the hell is it? Uh, Southern Florida. It's down near Miami. West Palm Beach? Somewhere there. Yeah, West Palm Beach or something. Really ritzy neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, that that's uh, Try That in a Small Town is the name of that Al Dean song that's been all over the yeah. internet the last week. It's so stupid. So stupid. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard any of it. I, I'm not even. I'm not even a fan of country music, and I couldn't escape. No, that but song. I'm telling you, as always, the corporate pieces of shit, right? The the money decision makers, the policy makers, are using the racists as muscle, right? Right, and just the threat of the rise of you know these you know obvious divisionary tactics or whatever right the divide and conquer thing in our, in our society the weird fucking culture wars and all that dog shit but uh make no mistake they fucking the muscle for that 
are right are yeah. the races. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. they're un- But it's a wildfire thing because true believers are fucking ding dongs, man. Right. They are. Yeah. Big time. Is that a technical term? Yeah. Ding dong. It, it, it really is. <laughs> well, speaking of the ding dong, dingus, dongus, dingus, dongus, the Latin version. Of the Latin speaking word. of the <laughs> dingling adonguses mm. uh, mm. who give money to Trump oh. for his, uh, you know, <laughs> legal fees and stuff, uh, his Sauron. Save America PAC, oh. it raised over $15 million in the first half of 2023. That's less than I would have thought. But they friend. spent over $30 million. Jeez. And now they have about $3.6 million on hand, which is Jeez. really, really low That's really for low. a presidential campaign. No, and so that now, if we totally didn't cover every single time he farts mm-hmm. in the media, yeah. it's like then he would just disappear. Yeah. Because now he doesn't have the, he doesn't yeah, that's have the money. one pack, right? That he, he, that's true. It's but, his but main he, pack. Yeah, but I bet his legal costs are really a yeah. lot. Right? They spent 20 I bet half a million dollars a day. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys spent twenty oh, million dollars on legal fees uh, oh. this year, with payments going to more than fifth, or excuse me, forty different law firms. Oh yeah, I bet they're all just stoked. <laughs> but the thing is, that money—that's not his money, people. It is not. It's He's not, not spending it, any of it's his It's like money. regular Americans are sending to him. It's like the Jerry Falwell money, the Pat Robertson yeah. money. Yeah. It's like they just get people. Uh, to send him money. I, it's I, so gross. I, it is so gross. I saw this picture today. It shows these people are paying for his, and it was like what you guys were just saying, and it shows a picture of a guy sitting out in front of a double wide, and it shows him standing in the lobby of and like a lot of senior citizens. One of his hope. Like a lot. Yeah, no, it's awful. Yeah. yeah. But people fall for that shit all it's the just, time. Yeah, that tithing the to the megachurch, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the TV preacher. It's the same yeah, phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the same phenomenon. I you know, need a new... And that's what allows for Pharaoh to exist. Yeah. And that type of phenomenon where it humans really will, will make somebody a deity, right? It's fucking weird, dude. Yeah. And I don't know if other animal species do it. Maybe they do. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe but there's I, a, a rabbit king in the Fucking uh, A, there could be. Right? I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there isn't, but it seems dumb as fuck to me. And it's a behavior we should stop, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wrote a paper on that a lot, two billion years ago, right when when uh, nice. pencils were just being invented. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got lead in but, but what allows for uh, the unconditional love towards an abuser, towards like you know right. what I mean? It's like it's bonkers. Yeah. Did, did it's, you guys see that uh, NASA is going to start their own streaming service? No. Oh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Gonna later this Will summer. They do the Space Age Ant it's, Farm. It's, it's like NASA Plus or whatever. It will be free streaming service that will grant viewers access to original video series and live coverage of missions. Oh, geez, that's neat. And it's it will it will be available to download on most streaming boxes as well as iOS and Android. So right. what are they streaming? It's space. Cool space. I bet like, they do have a it, lot of footage, it, right? They have to have footage of. Oh, they already had like streaming Nash stuff on like M- on uh, on uh, National YouTube Geo or something. Like, no. like its own. I didn't know that. But they're gonna have their own their streaming own app service. or whatever. Yeah, their own right. app and their own Cosmos kind of thing. Jeez, well, it's I gonna wonder. it's gonna yeah. be like like you know mission. I feel like I space. used to watch Egghead stuff like on Channel Twenty Seven yeah. or something. Yeah. They had NASA Egghead whiteboard like. Mm stuff yeah. going on it's, and it's, i'd go uh, i'd watch for a few minutes go what the <laughs> fuck yeah yeah, yeah. i'll like, wait for yeah. the movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah can you have special effects to show and what then, happens uh, but you, you, i'm just sitting there thinking like all these people that are going to be watching it there's clearly a there's there's like a seven second delay because they ain't going to show you the real shit up there oh uh, sure yeah <laughs> you know they're not going to show you that yeah. the moon is not real and all this other shit Jeez. yeah it's yeah cheese yeah and just this, the giant space battle that it, just goes on every was, night. Right. I'm trying to remember the name of the movie. There's a movie that came out a few years back, and it's basically how... There's a the, lot more satellites today than there used to be. Then that the, the the moon is legitimately, in this movie anyhow, a, a, a space station. Wasn't that a Transformers thing? No, I mean, huh. it was, but no, this uh, was... Was oh, it Moonfall? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was it Moonfall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. with the lovely the, yeah. Halle Berry? Yeah. Halle Berry oh, was yeah. in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Oscar award winning. Yes. Halle yes. Berry. Yeah. yeah. And she's in her 60s that was now, and she Monster still looks Ball, amazing. Right? Yeah. That was a brutal film. Yeah, no, I never yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. I, although I don't forgive her for Catwoman. Yeah. I didn't see it. 
It don't. Oh, I forgot all about that. Mm. It was it was just. Was that her project? She, I, I mean, don't she was know. In it, but yeah, no, maybe she just got the check. I don't know. If, but, I don't know if she was like producer uh, or director or anything. Oh, but man. it was, it was like Catwoman and name only. It wasn't. It wasn't any of the existing storylines of of Catwoman. It was. Just, yeah. Have you read the Darwin Cook uh, Catwoman stuff? Uh, like no. the uh, Selena's big score and. Hmm. Oh fuck! It's no, excellent. No. So Darwin Cook died young, but he was one of the best of the modern age, like comic book artist writers. Yeah, yeah, you know, the guy's fantastic. New Frontier, like did he draw it in? Yeah, I didn't. Oh. Yeah, no, it's his wow. kid, and came up with Slam Bradley, the grizzled PI that got became canon in a Batman oh. comic. Yeah, the Batman Pantheon. What was it called? His name is Darwin Cook. D A R W Y N. I think C O O K E. Yeah, phenomenal talent, and now gone. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. The, but uh, New Frontier is one of the best works of the last thirty years. Easy. There's, there's been like, like three different New Frontier animated movies. No, oh, in, right in regards to like the Justice sure. League. No, it's good stuff. Uh, they actually just announced like in the last couple of days um, or last week actually, um, new f- animated feature films. Including Watchmen and Crisis on Infinite Earths, we're going to be coming next year. Hmm. And then, you know, geez, Crisis seems kind of old-fashioned now. They've been through eight hundred crises well, <laughs> since that came out. Well, that's- DC's like, well, we need to strip because they have like a, a ten thousand characters, right? So they want to trim the fat once in a while. It's like, oh my Crisis god, Crisis on Infinite yeah. Earths is just another uh, multiverse of madness type story. Yeah, no, it's great. It's, it really it, is. It, but they, they also they, did uh, the Infinite Crisis after that, and then they did. Uh, yeah, well, they they did an animated. Crisis on Two Earths, oh. which uh, came out I think five to ten years ago, and uh, it was it, it didn't feel like it was long enough for it needed to be longer mm. than an hour. Yeah, you know. And so, I don't know. I, I love that storyline. Yeah, They're with the monitor and all, or the anti monitor. The right? anti monitor. Yeah, that's yeah, great. They had actually they had the anti monitor when they did Crisis on Infinite Earths in the CW. Yeah. No. Crossover. Is that who that guy is with the sideburns? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Because I saw that I guy. I was so, wondering. Yeah. All right. Nice sideburns. Why has he got to be so evil? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Speaking yes. of evil oh. sideburns, though. <laughs> you guys have been reading up on Twitter what's happening over at X these days. Uh, I know that they had a giant fucking flashing yeah. neon sign that was like keeping people awake yeah. across the street. So Elon changed uh, the name or changed the the logo, I guess, of Twitter uh, because it's still Twitter, right? It's not... Uh, uh, he's, I think it officially changed. I think right? Oh, is it all X yeah. now? The problem is, is like uh, Meta owns the rights to X. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeez. In the States. and only they had lawyers. In, in Japan... <laughs> The the name uh, it's funny is, is they can't <laughs> yeah. change the name in Japan to, to X just, because there's know. already we a need progressive tax people. Yeah. <laughs> we do Big the time. concentrations of wealth we and power way is too just much fucking us up. This. And yeah. remember, Elon Musk. And sorry, it's not just him, but since he's the majority shareholder in the company, he's right? The face, I believe he is. Yeah. Uh, so he really does have veto power, but he has most of the communication satellites with that Starlink and all that, right? It's like, we're putting way too many apples in one person's basket, dude. Yeah. It's a terrible fucking idea. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. And this is early August 2023. <laughs> Mark my fucking words. If we don't knock the economic pyramid down, we're going to be fucked. Yeah. Honest. Yeah. Think about it. Totally agree. Okay. Anyway, yeah, as Todd was talking about, he, he decided to put this giant X uh, that it's, flashes. It's, it's really like a, bright. It's like a 10-foot sign on top of the building. Yeah, on top of the building. But then it's the neighbors were huge. like, what the fuck? It's, it, it's right next to apartment buildings. It's, not, that it's, not that it's just bright, but it also flickers and spasms. Just, yeah. and, Wasn't that no. a Seinfeld thing with Kenny Rogers? Yes, took it? exactly. Oh. <laughs> it's like, it made Kramer go crazy. Damn you, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> 
Uh, so uh, people complained, and a, a city inspector from San Francisco actually went there twice. He was, was refused de- denied entry, access. Yeah. denied access. So eventually, they got it. Uh, the city denied. Uh, the didn't they didn't get a permit or anything, so they made him take it down. And they Twitter tried to claim, oh, we just put it up there for promotional thing. It was only temporary, but everybody knows it wasn't. They were trying to. Oh yeah, one and two. Why do you think the rules don't apply to you, dude? Yeah, because you, you don't have to get a fucking for a, a sign on top of a building. Right. You don't need permitting for that. Are you shitting me? Right. It's like, dude, what an arrogant piece right. of shit. Yeah. Well, it's, and in the cars now, there, it's documented and coming out that uh, they not only lied about the range that's capable from a Tesla car, but they make it so that when you're driving a Tesla car, it lies and tells you you've got more miles left. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. What the fuck? Really? Yes. Oh, my God. It's like the rules need to apply to the powerful man. Right? It's like you can't just lie all the time, guys, and make your own rules. It's not... It shouldn't be allowed, right? Yeah. I, don't think it's it's, I don't think that is allowed, is it? I don't know. People, the, the I mean, powerful are getting away with it, right? I mean, it's Apple like, got in trouble for doing that kind of thing with the V-Dub phones. did. Remember Volkswagen lied about the emissions right. that were coming yeah. out of the cars for yeah. mass. Yeah. But then they get, you know, the economic penalties are jack dick, right? It's like, I don't know. We yeah. need to it's cheaper level to, the playing field. Cheaper we really just do. to let it go. And Man, pay a fine. You know what though. the Ford did with damage. the Pinto. It's, or something. I don't know. Yeah, Cheaper to, to ask for yeah, forgiveness than it is for legend, permission. Yeah, I yeah. guess. Well, then we need to switch that around. Yeah. I guess in some cases, like that X sign didn't fall off the roof, right? right? Like Ain't could happen with anybody. unpermitted work, right? Right. Dude. It's like, I don't know. But it, but it's like if I tried to stop an inspector from coming on site or something, are you right. kidding me? Yeah. It's like he'd come back with the fucking police. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I heard, too, that um, because they switched to X, um, the CEO, and I don't remember her name, um, I don't know if Elon did it or if she did it, but they changed her name to her first name and the letter X, right? And changed her handle on Twitter. And then because she did that, they didn't secure her original handle because this was supposed to be like a temporary uh, thing yeah. to call. And so somebody else somebody jumped it. in somebody and snagged it. it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and legally, oh, you know, by the hey, by the rules yeah. of the of the uh, of the software or rules of the uh, of the app, uh, <laughs> they grabbed yeah. it and now they won't give it back. <laughs> but he'll just take it back. You know, he'll change the rules for himself. I'm sure. You know, but they don't think about stuff like this, right? Evidently it's, not. It's just yeah. stupid. It's stupid. Uh, man, which is the only saving grace, right? I think yeah. like just like with the Trump administration, et cetera, if they would have been better at it, we'd be living in dictatorship. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of these other guys who are, you know, billionaires, they're not, you know, idea people. They're just used to bossing people around who are idea people. Yeah. I think they don't really have to think about the practicality, right? Because there's nothing really to lose. Right. And right? it's like, it's... The other thing that was really funny about the whole X thing is, like, in Japan, they were going to have to change the name from, like, Twitter Japan because legally they had to. Uh, but they they couldn't change it to X because X Japan is the name of, like, a pop band in Japan. Oh, uh, yeah. Done in by music, by pop Yeah, music. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll win in yeah, the end every yeah. time. Well, they're also oh. suing a U.K.-based nonprofit, and this nonprofit is called the Center for Countering Digital Hate. Sounds great, right? Because they uh, report on uh, sites that have, uh, you know, uh, if a site is failing to crack down on, like, homophobic speech, racist speech, uh, anti-Semitic tweet stuff like that well they the center of uh center for countering digital hate came out with a report saying twitter's not doing enough right hmm. to counteract this stuff so x is suing them uh <laughs> because uh they say it is harming they, them they are and driving enough, advertisers yeah. away from twitter um because of hmm. this report so Twitter's pissed. Are they refuting the report itself? I don't know. They, I think or they're just, just pissed that the report came it. out. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, hey, huh. because of this report, we're losing advertising money. Well, I think they're losing advertising money. And they also already said that they aren't going to edit people. 
Yeah, yeah. Right? They're like, no, we love the right wing stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but yeah. Then, yeah. Not even right wing, because that makes all right wingers lumped in, right? But, uh, yeah. You well, know, the, irony the, shit, is that the, the shit wing, right? It's like yeah. the racist piece of shit, the fucking. You know what I mean? Just all the nonsense. It's nonsense that, that it, just the fact that we have a digital age to, to have to defend from these things proves that their shit is still shit. Right. That's right. They didn't bring about the digital age. <laughs> it was people of color and fucking regular folk, dipshits. It's yeah. like, stop it. Stop right. it. Right. It's fucking find a new religion, dude. That down. one's just old and dumb. And I, it, yeah. It's just not real. I just did a search for um, who owns the copyright for X. And it looks like both Microsoft and Meta have have copyrights with the trademark X. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's kind so, of so. I mean, it, they're two of the biggest, you know, electric company or not electric companies, but uh, internet companies in the world have a copyright and, uh, with that. Did, so does he? He doesn't even have shareholders, or did he make it public again? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're talking about Twitter? Yeah, because does he have to worry I about shareholders? He did. I think he just bought it? out the majority yeah. of the of the shares, yeah. right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And he's not even really acting as the CEO because he has one of those. Yeah, I don't I think know. He, he 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 made somebody else the CEO. Yeah, it's that lady that got her handle <laughs> taken away from her. Didn't, I don't know if he's acting uh, as chairman of the know. board or I don't know what. Didn't they also like take over whoever who originally? Registered the the handle X. They somebody else already had it, and they just took it from him. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Holy crap, you guys! Yeah. Uh, any other news that you guys came across that you find um, fascinating? The time machine. Try to go back to Little House on the Prairie. Hell yes, I'll hang out with Charles. Yeah, and dude, line. Dive half, dysentery. Half pint. <laughs> ah, half just pint. drink beer, Mike. Just yeah. drink beer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just don't drink the water. Water. Yeah. Uh, about ten years ago, I discovered the place that they filmed that show is oh. is is uh, is in California. It's called Golden Oak Ranch. And uh, when I found out where it was filmed, I, I went looking on the internet to see if I could find if they had like a website or some way of contacting them to see if maybe they had tours or anything. Because a lot of shows and movies in the 70s were filmed there, and even in the 80s and the 90s. Um, and uh, up until I think about five, six years ago, that village from Little House on the Prairie was still there. Nice. And uh, now it's they now it, it's they got have, like a, a hippie cult living on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they they, they they tore down all the, the the storefronts and the church, and then they built a like a a, a a like a like a city street, like in a town, a small town street. It has like a diner and like you know yeah. grocery store, and so it's no that. longer nineteenth century looking. No, no, yeah. it's. I mean, they still have like the the farmhouses from Dukes of Hazard are still there. Yeah. And um, the the Country Bear movie, the the big barn that was in that was is also on that on that Jeez, property. Yeah. Just the good old boys, never meaning no harm. Yeah, is that Waylon? That's Waylon, right? It was. Oh, you never saw been in trouble with the Waylon Jennings was also the was bone. He was also the balladeer for the show. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I got some crazy what coincidences is, no, that I, I came across. I actually do. thought this article was kind of interesting, and I, I there was like triple the amount that I have here, but these were the ones that were most interesting I would love to share with you gentlemen. Well, sure, let's hear it. Yes. Uh, the first one, uh, World War One, crazy ass uh, uh, four years of... Uh, you know, no, the world, tough. life. Um, the graves of the first and the very last British soldiers to die in World War I ended up facing each other unintentionally in the cemetery. Hmm. It wasn't planned out that way. It just so happened that the, well, as they were burying, I think this is in Belgium. Um, the very first guy that died uh, was a gentleman named uh, John Parr. He was a 16-year-old uh, who went out scouting um, and was the first casualty of the war. And then the last guy to die was 40-year-old George wow. Edwin Ellison uh, from Leeds. And he uh, died in that last 
why did we do it? The armistice was like the like the Germans were had the pen in their hand and they were ready to sign it, and the British command decided one last you know hurrah into the into the mist, right? And this guy ended up dying, and he's oh, he's the last one. But as they were burying these soldiers in the uh, cemetery, they ended up facing the two headstones ended up facing each other. So the very first and the very last no. British soldiers ended up being buried looking at each other basically. in 40 and in 40 i mean in 19 so this is 1918 in britain at 40 no he would have died when he got home anyway just a full age <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah well i don't know what his job would have been leeds was probably a factory or oh, something sorry. right i would think big I would, town yeah yeah, but I think the average lifespan back then was 39. No, really? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. until 19, even, yeah, yeah, because yeah, we've 19, doubled 18? it in the last 100 years. Okay. And I think it's 78 now, yeah. 77 time. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Isn't well, that bonkers? Yeah. Speaking of war, there was a Japanese businessman who's the only known person to survive both atomic nuclear strikes on Japan. Yeah, I have heard of this gentleman. Yeah, his name is uh, Sutomu Yamaguchi. I'm going to butcher his name. Um, he was in Hiroshima on a business trip. He had a shipbuilding company on August 6, 1945. When the atomic bomb hit that city, he stayed there for a couple of days, managed to escape the city, went back to his hometown, which just happened to be Nagasaki, uh, which is about 190 miles away. And it got attacked uh, three days later. Uh, I don't remember which one. It was Fat Man and Little Boy. I don't yeah, remember I can't which remember one it was which. But, but yeah. man, he survived both nuclear strikes. Not just one, but That's both. Bonkers. Them. That is just bonkers. And witnessed it? both, right? And I mean, witnessed like, both. Oh, it's insane. And the devastation of both, Ugh. man. Jeez. And he lived to a ripe old age, too. Uh, I don't remember. It was at least in his 70s or 80s, something like that. Oh, that's so. pretty... Wow, it's pretty crazy, crazy, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Um, yeah, I've never seen any of that live, like any of the tests or whatever. Maybe yeah. they're done above ground testing by the time I was born. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't bet on that. Yeah, Big I think really old. I, I mean, we're all we're all all three of us are like born in the early seventies, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was born in the year. 1970. In the year 1970. Oh, it was a dark and stormy night. Yeah. I, I was born in 71. Yeah, right on. Me too. What, uh, 71, what, do you, what month? September. I thought I was older than you. Oh, geez. Nope. Apparently oh. not. Uh, it's because I just I, 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 I give off that. I give off a youthful kind of because yes. I'm a giant dweeb. Yeah. So, All right. well, yeah, the vibe. but I'm okay uh, with that. I will accept being the youngest on the show, even if it's only by a month. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Of, yeah, I mean that's that's intense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, read a lot of stuff on Lincoln probably about 10 years ago and John Wilkes Booth and the whole assassination plot and just, you know, all the craziness surrounding that. Um, read a book entirely about the Booth family. And the Booth family, uh, the brothers were all actors, right? And there was the oldest brother named Edwin Booth and he was super famous. He was like the George Clooney of the time or the Brad Pitt of the time, right? People hmm. knew him. They would get his autograph. They would come up to him, buy him drinks, all that stuff. He was just a touring dude uh, throughout the eastern seaboard, um, but he, you know, was well known. And his brother John Wilkes was also an actor, but he just wasn't as famous. He was like, oh, I don't want to pick on Clint Howard, but <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> yeah, what's a brother? Maybe it's Randy, uh, yeah, Jim Belushi. Randy and oh, yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. He was the John Jim and Jim. He was oh. the Jim Belushi of the of the family. Uh, although Clint Howard is, you know. Yeah, Clint Howard's great. Yeah. Clint, actually, yeah. you don't know this yet because you haven't gotten this far in the show, but he actually oh. made an appearance on Brave New Worlds in oh, the good. current season of the Star Trek series. He's got to oh, be nice. 80, right? How old's that guy? He's in his 60s, I uh, think. I mean, but yeah, he's the Jim Belushi of the... He's uh, the Jim Belushi. So, so John Wilkes Booth, the guy that Boat. killed Lincoln. Yeah, what a well, dick. Well, 
way back during the Civil War, and I don't remember what date it was, but in New Jersey, uh, Edwin Booth was on tour, and he happened to be on this train platform, and he saw a young man slip and start to fall onto the train tracks where a train was coming, and he reached down, grabbed the kid, pulled him up, and basically saved him. I don't know if it's, you know, a little bit of extra bluster in there, but he saved this kid from getting hit by a train. Well, some years later, or some months later, he got a letter from um, basically the White House saying thank you for saving uh, our son. It ended up being uh, uh, Robert Todd Lincoln, uh, one of Lincoln's sons. What? Yeah, so no Edwin way. Booth. You know, he pushed him. <laughs> he pushed that kid. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> no. Uh, John Wilkes got radical. Was, was he the, the president at the time? At the time. It was so during where, the Civil the, War. You know, he doesn't have any... Uh, the kid didn't have any security guards or anything? No, or? no, no, no. Huh. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Huh. But, um, yeah, no no Secret Service at that point. But, huh. yeah, just amazing that Edwin uh, Booth saved Lincoln's son. And just a couple of years later, uh, John Wilkes Booth, uh, Booth uh, blew huh. Lincoln's head wide open. So, uh, But speaking of John Wilkes Booth, there is only 50 known photographs of Lincoln hmm. in existence, which is a like fascinating fact. 50 different pictures? 50 or? different photographs. That's right? interesting. John Wilkes Booth actually appears in one of those. He attended. What? Yeah, he attended um, uh, Lincoln's second inauguration and he's in the crowd. And you see mm. in the picture, you know, Lincoln's down here. There's a big crowd here, sure. a big crowd around him. And he's like way up here on a scaffolding yeah. or a dais looking Was down. he radicalized at that time? I don't know if he was. Because yeah. um, mm. I don't know the date on that. But um, yeah. I think all this just jealousy of his brother. I, so he could I become really, more famous. It really shit, is, right? is. What a, a piece factor. of shit. Yeah. What a it piece really of is shit. a factor. It's like, he really thought he yeah. was going to be a hero um, in the South by committing the. Yeah. Uh, committing the assassination and lincoln is one of the examples for me anywhere is where as people gain more experience with their fellow humans yes. it can broaden them if they allow yes. it to, right because he started off as you know i a different type of racist right but, but the type of racist who saw non-whites as an inferior being exactly right but yeah. he stopped that attitude and was awakened through his exposure to other people. Exactly. Right? right. And it's like, yeah. that's why you should go to pro wrestling matches. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Hang out with your fellow man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sit there and watch <laughs> greased up guys <laughs> slapping each other around. It's on, just on like, stage. yeah, uh, hanging out with Frederick Douglass. Yeah. What a, and if you do, you know, the people that are listening to us, thank you, all of you. Read some Frederick Douglass. I gotta knock your yes. socks off. Yeah, he's ridiculous. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's been years since I read any. It was probably college. So sure. It was probably and early Lincoln and later Lincoln, right? Yeah. yeah. Just like I, I would say the same for Malcolm X, right? Early mm -hmm. Malcolm X is radically different than uh, later X, right? Yes. Right. And it's like, and that's not bad. Yeah. That shows that humans, if they allow themselves to become more, to grow. they will yeah. grow, right? Yeah. yeah. Jeez, yeah. Louise, yeah. dogma isn't necessarily better, bro. Right. Right? Loosen the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sit down, have some milk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, but speaking no. of Lincoln, and we talked, I, I mentioned I was going to say this. The day that Lincoln was assassinated was the day that he signed the legislation from Congress creating the Secret Service. The very day <laughs> that he yeah. was assassinated. But keep in mind that the Secret Service then was to counteract uh, counterfeiting. Right, it was to investigate search, 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 search. It wasn't yeah, a, a bodyguard. A, no, a his bodyguard. bodyguard there was something weird with his bodyguard. Yeah, he was yeah. slacking on the job or something. He, he had like but a he, captain or something. Yeah, I don't think he was in on it. He would just. No. It, it was a perfect storm. Yeah. He really Booth didn't have to try as hard as no. he should have had to try. No, right? Yeah, so he was able to get thing. into yeah, the theater, way too easy. and the motherfucker jumped from the balcony to yeah. the stage, yelled out something. I don't remember what it is now. Was able to escape out. Out the back, yeah. jump on a horse, but he thought that he was he, going to. He get yelled at some sort of uh, like uh, that everybody was going to love him for. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was it was like a, a, a Latin phrase or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he rode yeah. south, thinking Mel he would be the friend. the yeah. friggin' conquering hero, yeah. right? And it just yeah, people were like, well, what you? Yeah, but what? I mean, yeah, I think just like taxi 
driver or whatever. He, he kind of worked himself up yeah. to, to do an assassination and all that. Unless you're just a hired assassin, right? And you have no emotion. Right. I think you hype yourself up. And you have to. Yeah. Right? I would yeah, think you would have. Kind of a thing. I would think. Makes sense. Unless you're a complete, uh, you yeah. know, psychopath, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, what, but what a piece of shit. What a piece I don't know. And I mean, I'm not going to deify any president, but it's like, I like that Lincoln, A, was a highly intelligent human being, and mm-hmm. B, wasn't so intelligent that he refused to grow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and he was the guy, I don't know if you ever read that book, and again, it's been, you know, 10 or 15 years when it came out, but the, what was it, The Team of Rivals? Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. It's a big time book that came out, but it talked about how Lincoln chose people in his own party that had differing opinions, but he brought them all together because he wanted sort of a broad uh, spectrum of Science. discourse, yeah. right? To yeah. talk about stuff. Seems and that's the, fucking elementary. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let me just get a bunch of yes men. No, let's bring in some people that have differing yeah. opinions so I can hear both sides yeah. and figure out what the right yeah. course is. Yeah. Yeah. So. And add, you know, at least add to it or at least let them know that even if they are an opponent, they are a herd, uh, they're not an enemy. Yeah. Right? Because you don't want to listen to your enemy. Yeah. Right? But you'll listen to your opponents. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, here's another one. It's a time, a little bit of a time jump, but apparently, and I just read this yesterday, uh, JFK and Adolf Hitler <laughs> may have been stupping the same woman at the same time. And this is weird because in 1941, a Danish born uh, journalist named Inga Arved, um, she was a hotshot journalist working for the Washington Times Herald, and uh, she was a former beauty queen and an actress, but she interviewed a young 24 year old JFK. Right, because his father was rich, and he was—I think he was an ensign at the time. Yeah, he was in the navy. And he a, was in the navy, yeah. and he was on a trajectory. Right, they were. His dad was really pushing him into the politics. He's for whatever reason, stuff. I thought he was in the navy post-war, though. No, he he fought. He had PT one hundred nine and all. But that. in the Second World War, yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah. for some reason, I'm getting my. Because how old was he when he ran for president then? He was older he was than I just thought he was. 35? Oh, geez, all right. Well, 36, all right, something like well, that. Um, but I- anyway, uh, no, he had to have been older. He yeah, had, had to be. Been yeah, had to be. In his yeah. Life. Well, so, so, so let's after, get back to Inga. after that, uh, after the interview, they hit it off and they basically went on a little affair for uh, the next year or so until uh, her uh, Joe... Uh, Kennedy found out about her and figured out that the FBI was really interested in her movements and that she was thought to be a spy because uh, just a few years earlier in 1936, she was covering the Olympics in Berlin and caught the eye of a uh, special man named Adolf Hitler who invited her to be up in his booth. And I guess that they were inseparable by reports, right? That they were just, you know, smitten with each other and all this stuff. She's a thing for guys in power. So, well, JFK wasn't in power at that point, but, um, but yeah, maybe so. Pretty Uh, charming. Yeah. She'd like just say chowder. (laughs) Chowder. New England clam chowder. <laughs> I park my car in the Harvard yard. Yeah, yeah. We should have, well, uh, maybe we'll call... Uh, uh, Grab uh, my khakis and my khakis. <laughs> 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 so, we'll call uh, Ray so to have room- him dub that in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ray Smalley's got the authentic. Uh, <laughs> he does, yeah. man. He's great. Um, so uh, the 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 thought is is that uh, Adolf had an affair with her, and that that they continued that affair for some years. About the same time that this gal got a job at the Washington Times and interviewed JFK, and went on an affair with him. So uh, mm-hmm. the article says they may have been crossing pork swords um, with the huh. same woman. Um, I'd never heard that before, pork swords, but I kind of liked it. Um, 
<laughs> in a different way. I prefer, sure. I prefer uh, wiener schnitzels. Uh, they were crossing uh, wiener schnitzels. schnitzels. Uh, but yeah, how know. crazy is that? Because I think that's of those two weird. in different time the, frames, yeah, right? I do too, very much so. Yeah. But, but I mean, not by that much. Right? Yeah. Because you always read know. those articles about when people are born, right? And, and did you know that? And, like, and I don't want to think Frank, about Hitler fucking anybody, <laughs> but I would like to think about <laughs> Terry <laughs> Crews <laughs> fist <laughs> fucking <laughs> Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Right? I don't want yeah. Terry Crews to get Adolf yeah, sorry. shit all over yeah, his Yeah, you're right, all right. But it sorry. is and I like Maybe Terry he wears a glove. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he wears a glove. Or I just some big German the, yeah. muscle. But maybe Arnold. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Fuck Hitler. <laughs> for all time. <laughs> but it's weird because you don't think about those time frames, right? So, yeah. Because uh, we're the famous Frank one. Yes, exactly. And, yeah. and Martin Luther King were born in the same year. They yeah. were the same no, it's insane. age. And I think Barbara Walters. Oh, that's was right. Yeah. 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 Bonkers. Yeah. yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Cause I always think of Baba Wawa <laughs> in bah, bah, the eighties, right? Bah. On 2020 and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I always think yeah. of MLK in the sixties and yeah. you always think of Anne Black Frank, of course, and, you uh, know, yes, yeah. just nuts. Back, back when, you know, that, yeah. Oh, it's insane. It's just Getting nuts. fire hoses and police dogs yeah. and all this shit. It's like, fuck you. Right. Holy and that's crap. the thing. That's why, I mean, yeah, yeah, we are progressing, right? Because, I mean, call me nutty, oh, but that are. seems wrong. <laughs> 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 to sick dogs on American citizens, yeah. peaceful American citizens. Yeah, it's a dick move. It really is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Most definitely a dick move. Oh, man. We're getting better. We're getting better. I just don't oh, know if we have so, the time for it, to yeah. tell you the truth. Yeah. It's like, because isn't July 2023, which just passed, uh, well, or the hottest now, it's, month it's on yeah, this planet ever? Um, Within I mean, within recorded history, for sure. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. But but probably back at least you know a few tens of thousands of years. Right. It's a not good. Yeah. And I was thinking about that. It's like, I I, I don't know if we really are counting on technologies to get us out of this. But in the meantime, we could say plant some trees. <laughs> yeah. If nothing else, <laughs> you know what if I mean. Nothing but, else. And we could be doing like. You know, instead of just having people do your landscaping, it's like we need to be teaching and utilizing regenerative landscaping techniques yeah. and fucking regenerative farming techniques and blah, blah, all that kind of stuff is already done. We know how that works. Yeah. Right. That's not a technological thing. It's some weird. It's a knowledge based thing that's already known. Right. It's like and those things are immediately, immediately beneficial. Right. Right. It's like waiting on technologies or like a giant, you know, air thing that's going to suck in carbon and breathe out air. It's like, you mean a tree? <laughs> it's like, fuck, it exists, bro. Right. <laughs> like, just need yeah. more of them. Just what the fuck? Yeah. 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 yeah and quit cutting them down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. And, you know, make the soil, uh, you know, because root bases make the the earth itself into a water bank so the water distributes much more slowly and evenly and beavers did their business you know uh which, <laughs> which did their did that had a purpose behind it and if we don't really want beavers doing it we need to mimic that right, right. all these different wetlands and how water gets retained and blah 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like we just need to be serious about it yeah or not or not or yeah. just let it go yeah just call it good he said beaver i you know <laughs> <laughs> read years ago that folks like uh, George W. Bush um, often don't care about the environment because they are born again, right? And they really believe that the rapture is coming. Yeah. And, and they the, really yeah, believe that, along with it. Yeah. Yeah, that God is, has created this earth for us to basically siphon whatever we can yeah. out of it. Um and it doesn't matter because we're all going to be called that. Well, most of us are going to be called to heaven. Yeah, Todd's yeah. going to be down here. With, yeah, I'll be down yeah. here partying like it's yeah, 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 day yeah. It'll be in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But but and that's great if somebody wants to believe that a doomsday cult scenario. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But should they be the policymakers? No. Should should they really make policy where everybody who doesn't want to get sucked into heaven, right? It's like get sucked off into heaven. Yeah. yeah uh, people can believe whatever I mean, the fuck they want to believe. I think I was sucked off into like, heaven once. Oh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have her number? Um, Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine nine. I, I believe yeah, she has I, teeth I, I believe that are removable now. I think it's Stacy's mom too, actually. Uh, oh, I thought it was Jesse's girl. 
I mean, yeah, Jesse's girl is Stacy's mom. Everyone yeah. knows this. Is right. that a thing? And, and that's your phone number. Okay. Oh. That, that's, that is that is the 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 running joke that I've seen on the internet in the last few years. Stacy's mom is is Jenny. Hmm. And is Jesse's girl. Uh, that's right, because it's Jesse's girl. Yeah. Not Jesse. Yeah. But this is. 2023. So if it wants to be Jesse, it can be Jesse. I mean, all those songs are problematic if you think about it, but you know, medium. I mean, mm. I don't know. Compared to like <laughs> today's music, I'm like, it's pretty bubble gum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even the Mike I mean, and shit, I'm like, Mike, no, we do not try yeah. this shit in a small town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck oh, around man. and find out, man. Yeah, jeez, I don't know, man. It's weird. You know, we just gotta quit falling for stupid shit. Yeah. As a species, yeah. it's not. It's not. It, by no means is it an American problem. It's a fucking human thing. Humans do stupid shit. Stop it. Stop <laughs> we choose. It. We choose to do stupid shit. So just stop it. Choose to do otherwise. Yes, bro. Bruh. Come on, bro. 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 Well, does it, uh, do you guys have anything new or positive that you want to share? Um, mm. I did binge watch uh, Twisted Metal. Fantastic show on uh, on uh, on Peacock. Okay, starring the new Captain America. Yeah, Anthony Mackie. Is he the is he the lead? He is the lead. Okay. He is the, he is what they call a milkman, which is a guy who delivers things from from uh, town to town because each town is like a walled off fortress, and he delivers things from one city to another. Oh, this is different than what I was thinking. I was thinking oh. it was like a car show. What's it, it called? I mean, it's, it is a show about cars. It's called Twisted Metal. It's based on a video game. Yeah, where they're high, heavily armed. Post-apocalyptic, yeah. and it's it's like it's like a um, right up my alley. It's like Mad Max meets um, Fast and the Furious. Hey, but it had comedy elements too. Yeah. There's lots of oh, there's right. definitely lots of comedy moments in this. I mean, uh, it, for nothing else, uh, Sweet Tooth is really funny. And it, the the voice is um, the guy who does um, Lego Batman, and I can't think of his name. Oh, right Will now. Arnett. Will Arnett. Yeah. Oh, yeah. geez, good call, guys. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, and, uh, yeah. No, Will Arnett's funny as hell, Nev Campbell's man. in it, too. She's, uh... Oh! Did you just say Nev Campbell? Yes. Can I, I get an amen? Anything since, uh, The Last Scream. I haven't seen her in anything oh, since, like, the 90s. Ago? Yeah, what was her, uh... What was the TV series she uh, was in way back in the old days? The Five of Us or whatever? Yeah, or, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, Party of Five. Party, party of Party, five. party yeah. of Five. Jeez. And I think, yes. That's yeah, she was in that. Days. Wasn't she also in that uh, Dawson's Creek as well? Or am I thinking oh. of somebody else? I don't know. I never watched Dawson's Creek. I Neither did I. I. It doesn't right. ring a bell. But I'm glad she's around. Uh, Katie yeah. Holmes. Oh, yes. yeah, that's, that's who was on that one, yeah. Katie Tom Holmes. Cruise's ex. Yeah, yeah. his ex-wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Who gets like... 30 grand a month in child support. Poor kid. <laughs> He's got two children with him, yes? Uh, I think they just have the one. Oh, all right. He's got two kids, two adopted expensive. kids with uh, oh. Nicole. Nicole Kidman. Oh, yeah. Jeez, oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. all about that. Yeah, we just started watching a show with Nicole Kidman called Lioness. Um, it's hmm. on Paramount Plus, it's by the same guy, Taylor Sheridan, who's just friggin' everywhere. This guy's got more shows than, you know, hmm. whatever. Um, but he it's a show about a CIA. It's got uh, uh, Zoe Zaldana. Is that oh, yeah. her name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, she plays a field agent, but she's sort of high, higher level, and uh, they have to recruit a gal to come in, so what they're doing is they find a um, the girl they found was half uh, Mexican, her mom was Mexican and her dad was like Iranian or something or vice versa um, but she's got the look, right? The Middle Eastern look, and they get her to befriend a terrorist uh wife or mm -hmm. girlfriend yeah. so that, that she can ingrate and then get the information that they need and that kind of stuff. So okay. it's kind of interesting that the first three episodes are on Paramount Plus right now. Hmm. The first episode had tons of action in it and then it kind of slowed down the next two episodes. Hmm. But uh, interesting show. I'd, yeah. I I wouldn't uh, I would give it a good solid B B minus right now just All because right. it, it, a shot. Yeah. it started out super 
hot and firefights and all kinds of cool stuff but then it's sort of like i said slowed down and kind of waiting to see where yeah, it goes but, yeah. yeah i'm only recognizing two of the names that are on that list of people and yeah it's a uh, special ops linus yeah yeah it yeah. should be special ops linus <laughs> <laughs> from Peanuts. <laughs> oh, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I played Linus in our eighth grade play. Jeez. Yes. I was a very good Linus it's back like, then. I was hoping to be a lion. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Twisted Metal. Huh? Anthony yeah. Mackie. Yep. Um, and you said it was on Peacock? Peacock, yeah. Oh, there you go. And, uh, it's fun and, to say. Peacock? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, which I, is the NBC stream? It, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. And then I, think uh, I have that. Max has a new animated Superman series. It's kind of an anime style. It's uh, but it's like uh, it's kind of like Year One Superman. I don't know if there was like a Year One comic or whatever, but it was basically he's just figuring out that he wants to be a superhero. He he kn- grew up knowing he had these abilities and he could do all these things, but he didn't like become superman until he like moved to like uh metropolis, metropolis and, and, and got it and got an internship at uh, the daily planet nice and it's like it's uh oh, it's, it's like i think it's called like my life with superman huh. or something like that huh. so my, I, life, on my life with the thrill killed superman yeah <laughs> and, and uh they uh you know, lois in the show is is i think she's japanese american and then like uh um um, Jimmy Olsen is African American, hmm. and uh, you know Clark is you know alien American. So he is alien American. Yeah. Their Crypto only hit American. was uh, was a Neil Diamond cover, right? My life with the throw cold cold. I have oh no, that was Urge Overkill. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. No, My life with throw cold cold is a band. Yeah. Um, anything else, guys? Any other stuff you're excited about coming up? Uh, well, the Dead Baby Downhill Race is this coming Saturday. The, the, the what? Uh, Dead Baby Bikes is a bicycle gang okay. uh, all over the West Coast and internationally, actually. Yeah. Uh, and they you know, throw a huge party every year, and preceding the party is a downhill race from uh, undisclosed location to the party, which yeah. is typically Georgetown. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it Seattle based? You says West Coast though. Yeah, I think they're actually Bay Area based, but a lot of uh, bike messenger guys okay. and that kind of thing. But they're yeah, I mean they're oh, they're a big deal. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it was it's called uh, My Adventures with Superman, and it's oh. it stars Jack Quaid. Oh, yeah. the kids uh, everywhere, the guys yeah. everywhere. Yeah. The boys we were talking about earlier. Yep. Um, yeah, so it's a hoot. It's a huge party. Okay, and then uh. Which is more, I mean, it's still very uncivilized, but it's more civilized today than it used to be. Do they do the party down where they do, like, the Georgetown flea market and stuff like that? Well, they used to shut off uh, Airport Way. Oh, okay. So, But then last year, it was kind of a Soto location. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know where it is this year. Oh, interesting. But it's really fun, and it's really dangerous, because it's like 5,000... People on bicycles. All going downhill. All just mobbing a block. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? And then going downhill. And so dudes, you know, like crusty punks on motor scooters, yeah. roll up to intersections and block intersections so that you can just ride through. Wow. So it is dicky, but it's wonderful because I've been so this dodging is like, cars like, my whole life. Like yeah. legitimate like street racing, but on bicycles. Yeah. And it's unsanctioned. It's an unsanctioned event. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's yeah. why they're blocking off the intersections. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's, yeah. Do you remember Mel? Uh, Donnie had that buddy Mel. They lived in the same apartment. Uh, well, back in the day, Not at all. Do- Donnie and my brother and Mel all rode their bikes constantly, sure. right? And I was kind of the weekend bike rider, right? We'd go up into the woods and do these oh, yeah. trails and stuff. Yeah. And these guys were like, they ride every fucking day. And I'm like, come on, you guys, slow the fuck down. But we did, uh, we did through downtown this crazy fucking dodging car doors and stuff oh, yeah. and these guys were just balls out and we ended up riding down underneath the freeway back when you could do that i know there's hmm. a there's like a bike park down there skate park down there now but we ended up going pretty far uh from uh oh, oh sure, 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 sure. that's on like under 99 or whatever yeah, uh, no yeah. under i-5 yeah, um sure. all the way down to the brewery and stuff but i just oh, i remember yeah. those guys hmm. just being crazy and that's what's uh, yeah. sort of picturing right you know 
back in the early 90s <laughs> donnie riding wild. around oh yeah I yeah that guy. yeah no he had the first carbon fiber bike that i ever saw yeah yeah he yeah. was so into he had the clip-in pedals yeah and no, that before nuts. anybody yeah. else yeah. and i get that if you're riding from here to texas <laughs> right, yeah. but if you're doing your daily commute with cars right what the fuck are you thinking dude dude no yeah no you're gonna no. get smashed you're gonna get smashed yeah. you're not gonna be able to get off that thing <clears throat> yeah. yeah anyway all right when's that coming up that's saturday okay so i just got to find out where i start that thing we've had yeah. some really good times at it do they send out like can do it. super secret email it, no it's just you have to hear the word of mouth yeah yeah so you gotta know where to go and yeah i think i got a guy on the inside <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> <laughs> gotta give the passcode I, to him. yeah I will say this, um, Emilio has another one of his events coming up on the 12th here at the, uh, at the pavilion. Yeah. At the it's pavilion. Yep. It's, uh, it's, it's during, there, there's also like, uh, like food trucks and stuff are going to be there for like some other event happening the same day, I but like he has, food he has trucks. everything inside the, like a hot wheels, like, Oh, that's right. Thing. So I'm, I'm definitely, I don't know if you guys are going to go or not, but I'm definitely going to be down there because there's going to be, it's not just going to be Hot Wheels, it's going to be all kinds of like nerdy shit too. That's got to be a week from Saturday, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, is that a stuff. retro toy fair? What is it? Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 what was, what did he call it? He called it like the trade night or whatever. All right, all right. But it's all about Hot Wheels, right? Well, it's mostly Hot Wheels, but yeah. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. And there's going to be other things too, I'm sure. But like, like the last one, it was, it was if 90%. If you walk in there and say Matchbox, do people just fucking lose their <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, because there are people selling Matchbox as well as sure. Hot Wheels and, you know, their uh, other like toy cars. Yeah, there was yeah. a guy who had, like, a, a, a uh, the, 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 the black charger from uh, the Fast and Furious movies. It was, you know, 1-8 or sure, sure, whatever sure. it was. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and I uh, bet just like with Gundam or Transformers or whatever, there's different companies that make, you know, short-run, high-quality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Emilio actually had a, 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 a GoBot on his table, I was like, I walked up and looked at it. It was, like, it, was it was in, it was like a, a, a an ambulance. I was, like, I, I, I was like, that looks familiar. And I grabbed it, picked it up, and looked at the bottom. I was like, sure enough, it was a GoBot. I was like, mm. do you have any more of these? He's like, no. Mm. Oh, <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, nice. All right. Well, I'm heading to the I'm heading to the mountains. Uh, oh, tell me more. Sunday, we're gonna go up to Mount Rainier and try to do some uh, wildflower photos. <laughs> um, we should be as the right time, early August. Is that the model's name, for them wildflower, all to, to bloom. Is it really? That'll yeah. be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So looking forward to that. I've been wanting to do Mind it for the, the last bears. few years. And yeah. yeah, I'm going to bring some bear spray and stuff. Yeah. But there'll be, uh, well, we'll have the kids and we just toss one of the smallest ones <laughs> yeah, to yeah, the yeah. bears. Just yeah. toss them, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't Everybody's have to happy. Be, you don't have to be faster than the bear. You just have to be faster than everybody else. <laughs> the, <right>. the toddler. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, become the, the yeah. new Tarzan of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> to be the yeah. new Sasquatch. Yeah, it sure is beautiful up there. Yeah. Uh, like, I hadn't gone to uh, Mount Rainier until like four years ago. Oh, wow. I Something haven't like been that. since I was Something like eight years yeah, old, no, and I magical, remember man. it's magical. the only thing I remember yeah. is it was cold out, and there was like there was like uh, everywhere there was like steam vents oh. in the ground coming yeah. up. Yeah, I don't, I yeah, back when I lived in Bonnie Lake, I would go oh, sure. drive up 410 past Greenwater. You get in there yeah. up into the Paradise area and all down the highway, there's, you know, signs that say trailhead. So I would just pick a new one every time. And this was stupid. Don't do this, folks. Yeah, but I solo. Would park. <laughs> throw some very light supplies into a, a light backpack and then yeah, just hit one of those trails and soda. yeah go about yeah. two you know go, hour go and a half more, in turn around come back yeah. and just be like i don't know where the fuck i am if i get go go with, go with go with other people folks is yeah. what he's saying yeah. go with other people and take your yeah. phone with you because you know oh, yeah, you, be you, you might be able to get at least a a GPS. Yeah, and I've heard people say, and I think that's a great idea, is that you can change your own voicemail. Yeah. Right? And to say, well, I'm at Trailhead, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That's actually a really good out. idea. I, or, yeah, I've never done that, but I've heard that, then it, it makes perfect sense. It's a great right. idea. Or just, you know, yeah. if you have if you have internet access on your way up the mountain, you can just post, you know, live. Yeah, many times you don't, though. Yeah. Because yeah. you're, like, so in awe of the beauty of the Pacific Northwest and the mountains and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, geez, Mount Rainier is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, we did the uh, Muir Ice Fields once. No, oh, nice. Me and my yeah. buddy Robin. Yeah, up to the lower base camp. 
right just up. wearing like car. Yeah, I think you talked to us about this. Yeah, like so you get up there dumb. and it's like, <laughs> so dumb. What are we doing? Yeah. yeah. Why? What? <laughs> Why are we yeah. doing? So I had I had joined a group called Google Earth Structures and Anomalies, and somebody recently in the last few <laughs> days had posted a a a Google Earth image of um, Hobart Road. The one that goes out from Issaquah sure. out to Hobart, and it, it, on the map it shows uh, Poo Poo Point, and sure. they're like everyone's giggling at the name of the of the thing. Poo Poo Point, oh yeah, that's yeah. no, great. It's like <laughs> also on the, in the same area on the map was like the uh, the local uh, nudist colony family. It said family nudist colony, and everyone's like, is no one going to comment on the fact that it says family? Yeah, yeah, nudist they're stuck colony. on Poo Poo Point. <laughs> They can't get past the poo poo. <laughs> Priorities, uh, guys. <laughs> uh, anybody been to the Nike missile silo site? Yes. Oh, years remember? ago. Yeah, years yeah, ago. Me talk too. about the one over yeah. Eastgate? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that again. Yeah. If they're still, are they still there? It's still uh, there, but it's, okay. it's a privately owned place uh, now. Yeah, there was also a big pit where they had a ton of bricks. Have you seen that? Hmm. We got some really Seems cool like pictures there. like a waste of there. bricks. Yeah, I don't know what it was about, but yeah. there's like a huge, massive pile of bricks, and it seems like it's right on some wetlands, cause, or at least it just rained or something when we went. But yeah, that was probably 10 years ago, maybe oh, uh, longer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, but uh, I, off to the mountains, man. Going to you know, get some freshy that'll air. Want to get my camera set up on a tripod, take some really nice landscape shots, hopefully of Jeez. flowers with the mountain in the yeah. background. Maybe some neat, yeah, insect life. Maybe as I'm, as I'm running, getting the bear behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smiles, what is, that? is Mount Rainier known for, like, black bears? or? I think so. I've seen uh, them up there myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Pretty skinny ones. Where I'm like, is that good or bad? <laughs> There, did you guys hear about yeah. the, the zoo in, or... in China that had those golden bears? <laughs> Have you heard about this? It was no. a funny story that came out a couple of days ago. No, and I'm people serious. were accusing, because the bears are, are naturally really thin, and they stand up on their hind legs, and they put their arms oh, the up like pandas. this. Yeah, 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 the yeah. red pandas. No, they're, gold, no. they're called gold pandas, bears, and they're, yeah. they're black, except they have like a golden... Seen, I saw them in India. Yeah. yeah. And so people are accusing the zoo because they actually look like humans in bear suits. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're accusing the zoo of not really having the bears, but well, they're... Uh, uh, <laughs> but they uh, but they have humans in the yeah. suit, oh my and they're God. like, yeah. "I'm a bear, Arr! I'm a bear." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I, I, don't know. I looked I at the pictures China. and I was I like, "No, I mean that looks like a bear, funny. but it, oh, yeah. it kind of does look like." Uh, yeah, there you India, go. Yeah, they have. <laughs> He's got bad posture. He's just he tired. definitely he definitely looks like a like a, a an animatronic bear from Disneyland. Oh, cute! Ah, oh, bears, bears. Oh, Especially man. this picture right here. If I can get to load up, there we go. Back. He oh, he, he, he like needs. He, 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 he just looks like a bear. He needs yeah, a belt. Needs to hit the gym. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a furry that got trapped yeah. there. Oh, it's man. like that. It's like that guy who spent twenty five grand to make himself into a into like a, a dog. Like a, a realistic dog costume. Have you oh, seen this? God, no. This I'm guy, good. this guy out of, I think he was out of China well, too. Well, that's he his he money. spent twenty five grand to how make far this. How are you getting on twenty five grand? Well, maybe in China, right? Maybe but in money China. Money goes further, but yeah. yeah how far is plastic surgery I care? No, I know it's like that movie, oh, uh, the Kevin oh, Smith man. movie Tusk. <clears throat> it's somebody that got they glued the suit on him and zipped his mouth shut yeah, so he can't. Oh, yeah, here you go. Here's pictures of the guy. In the dog costume, it's a uh, looks like look oh, like. Oh, so he spent a twenty five grand on a dog costume. Uh, on a costume oh, so he can he it. can live as that's a dog. That's a pretty good yeah. deal, actually. Yeah. I don't know. Fuck uh, it. That that's cool. He ain't fucking with anybody else, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. So I don't care. But uh, I'm still, not running around trying, trying to hump like everybody. Tax money <laughs> necessarily, well, right? He just, he just wants to live as, <laughs> as, as and he looks like Lassie. I mean, that's. Yeah, you want to be a collie? Right. Yeah, yeah he's in the world. They're elegant, I guess. Why not an Afghan hound? Use your he can words. Look like Rod Stewart. <laughs> what happened, Lizzie? Yeah. I said he fell in the fucking well. <laughs> he just wants to walk down the street yeah. and start dry humping people. Yeah. It's like, oh, why? What are you gonna do, yeah, man? I'm, I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Uh, you... <laughs> isn't it funny? Really, what he wants to do is he just wants to be able to pee anywhere. That that too. I mean, who doesn't yeah. want that? Yeah, right? I don't Lift know. Lift your leg and. 
humans, I don't know. Because for, you know, most of human existence, right? Even but, into the decent tribal years. Okay, it wasn't few and far between. It was, it was struggle, 000. man. Non-stop yeah, yeah. struggle. So now we just have so little struggle. We have the luxury of time to decide we want to live in a dog costume. <laughs> And it, 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 it doesn't look like a costume, folks. I yeah. mean, yeah. I'll, I'll share Although, the, I'll, I mean, I love Clan of the Cave Bears much of the next guy. But what if the, clay, the, the guy in the bear suit never took it off? Yeah. Right? I, I'll, I'll share this with, uh, with the Facebook page so everybody can see this for themselves. But, yeah. That's a pretty good-looking costume. I yeah. don't know. I don't for, know. For, uh, he forked out 15,700 uh, 15, to transform himself into a dog. Hmm. The guy in Japan. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Anything else? Anybody got anything else for the week? Um, I, w- I was telling Mike earlier. I saw the new the Ninja Turtles movie. It was really oh, good, funny in movie. Theaters, yeah. And uh, uh, <laughs> dude, Ice Cube's in it. Is one of the bad guys. Nice. It's just a giant, <laughs> a giant housefly. It's really great. It's funny. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, if you haven't already, uh, go on to r-townpodcast.com yeah, yeah. and subscribe. Yeah. It's only $3 a month, $30 a year, which is less than a cost of a cup of coffee these oh, days. Yeah. Oh, I also registered rtownpodcast.com, so that forwards to the r dash one as well. Oh, All right. yeah. So, so now so, you have no excuse. You, you can need find you forget us. the hyphen, you Jeez. still fucking get it. Yeah. We're yeah. a hyphen free find zone. Us. But inside the members only, we're gonna we have tons of bonus content, including what we're gonna do today. Which, if you are a member, you would get. Uh, we're doing our top five Mount Rushmore of TV shows right. plus one because it's a top five. Um, but I kind of feel like maybe we had done top TV shows in the past. How about one a one hit? Wonders. Oh, we should. Have do we that done one hand wonders? We need to do that. We'll do that uh, next week. Uh, eight, six, seven, five, three, <laughs> oh, nine, nine. <laughs> That's going to be honest. So for this week, I got my doggy suit. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it for a good time. For a good time, call. <laughs> oh man, nice. All right. All right. Uh, thank you guys thank for you. watching. Thank yep. you for being here. We appreciate yes, no, you. We Don't really forget do. to like, subscribe, I mean, click the little dinger, <laughs> yeah. and tell your friends yeah. at the water thank cooler you. tomorrow you. morning. Bye. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you think this episode is worth a dollar or five bucks, the boys would love to have it. Please go to ourtownpod.store for merch or to donate now. For less than a cup of coffee, you can also join the website in the member-only area for exclusive bonus content, blogs, and more. It's just $3 a month or $30 a year. Thank you for listening to this production of Our Town Podcast Extraordinaire.